Hi everyone, I'm Lady Decade and thank you ever so much for coming back to my channel. It's nice to see you all again, you're all looking very dapper by the way. So, in today's video, I wanted to talk to everybody about the best job that I ever had. And I've worked in some pretty cool places. I was once a paintball marshal for a few years, I've worked in a chocolate shop, but the best job, the best, most fun job I've ever had was when I was 17 years old and I managed to get a Christmas job in Game Station. I bet that's a blast from the past, you haven't heard for a while. It's nearly as retro as an electronic boutique. But yeah, so Game Station was the most fun job. Now, when I was 17, I was in college, it's before I'd met my husband, um, I used to hang out with a group of girls and we were quite edgy, we were a bit emo, we used to wear our hair across our faces and big dark eyeliner and dark clothes and so on and so forth. Well, I didn't so much, but um, that was the group that I hung out with. Now, all of these girls that I hung out with used to say that they liked gaming. Except I genuinely did like gaming. I used to game all the time. And a job got posted up in the um, in the window of Game Station in my local town. And me and my friends used to walk around all day, every day. We spotted it. I've always worked consistently since I was 13 years old. I've never gone without a job. And so me and this group of friends all decided that we would go and apply. So all of us went piling in. Now Game Station I was familiar with because I would regularly shop in there. I was a, a face that the people behind the counter knew because I would go in there and buy games every so often for my old PlayStation 1. Um, and so out of me and my group of friends, only me and one of my friends actually got called in for interviews. And this particular friend of mine, she had her interview which didn't go so well. And obviously mine did go well because I got the job. Now there is a reason behind that. Um, my friend wasn't really, truly that into gaming. She was more interested in getting the game because a couple of uh, lads that she quite liked who went to our school or college, used to shop in there and she thought that she would be able to catch their eye and that they would think she was more interesting and perhaps want to go out with her if she worked in that shop. Whereas me, I've always grown up with quite a strong work ethic and I wanted a job in there because I knew I would bloody enjoy it. I knew it. I knew that I would because I spent a lot of money in there already as it was and again I've always grown up loving gaming. I didn't have the knowledge base then that I have now but I still had a good enough knowledge base that I would have been able to assist with people who were perhaps in their shopping. And um, so from what I recall from the interview process my friend had come unstuck when the manager who was doing the interviews had asked her who her, her favourite gaming character was and why. Whereas when he asked me that question, I was able to give an answer where she couldn't. She couldn't because she, she was trying to blag her way through. She didn't know enough about gaming and had come unstuck. Obviously, I don't know precisely how it went. I wasn't in the interview, but I remember her telling me afterwards. Um, me, on the other hand, he asked me the very same question and I had immediately answered with Dante from Devil May Cry because he was, in my opinion, at that point, the sexiest computer game character in existence. So that was my, that was my answer and I remember him laughing out loud when I gave that answer and then saying, plus he survived having a motorcycle thrown at him, you've got to, you've got to give him kudos for that. And um, so I ended up getting the job over my friend who obviously wasn't overly happy about that, but that's a story That's a story for another time that no one cares about. But this job in Game Station, I loved it. First of all, the manager that I had, his name was Darren. There was two guys called Darren in there. Um, my manager, Darren, he, he was what I would call a really good 
manager because I feel managers lead by example. He showed me how to do everything from shrink wrapping to how they stack the shelves to how they organise the store. And for me, because I can be a little bit on the OCD side, I loved that. I really loved that. So we had like a retro game section, we had all of the latest games that were out, we had games that had been out for a while, we had all the brand new stock, the, the um, second hand stock, it was brilliant. Um, so he, he was very good, that Darren. Um, I'm actually still friends with another person called Stuart who I worked with. Um, he was a really, really, really fantastic person for me in there and that's why I still keep in contact with him because again, he shared that same passion that I had for all of these games. He was highly intelligent. I mean, you can ask him pretty much any gaming trivia question and he'd answer it like that. So I mean, he's, he's, um, he's a genius in that. He's very artistic as well. Um, and we just had a really good laugh in there. There was a real sense of camaraderie. Um, and everyone was very knowledgeable. And I think that's very important. When you go into a shop, you want to go in and feel confident that if you ask someone who works there a question, that they can answer it. I mean, I wouldn't walk into, say, a jeweler's and ask a ask them a question about a necklace and then the person be like, oh, I don't really know, um, can you ask so-and-so instead? Or you wouldn't want to walk into a doctor's surgery and have the doctor go, oh, I haven't really got a clue what's wrong with you. It's, that's not what you want. What you want is, especially if you're a mum, buying a computer game for your teenage son, you're gonna walk in and you want, you want to know what's the most suitable game for my son. Or, like me, I particularly liked um, for example, like cutesy little games like Croc or Crash Bandicoot and things like that. And I would go in and be like, what's the best sort of platformer game? Now, this actually brings me on to another chain of shops, Game. So that would be the British version of GameStop for all of my American audience. Now, a couple of years after um, my Christmas temp position had finished at GameStation, I had gone into another town, a bigger town um, near to where I live, to do a bit of shopping. Um, it was my now husband, but then boyfriend's birthday coming up, and I was trying to buy a new game for him, wasn't really 100% sure which one to get him, and I remember saying to the manager in the shop, um, I think there was, I can't remember what game I was looking at, um, I cannot at all remember it. But I remember saying to him, what can you tell me about this game? And he said to me, I don't know, I don't know, I don't really know anything about gaming. And I said, but you, you work in game, you're the manager of game. Surely you must have some kind of knowledge about games if you work in game. And he said to me that he had literally been taken on because he had lots of management experience. And that blew my mind. And I just thought, well, oh, hang on a minute. How can you, how can you, oh, and that, that was the other thing. He even said to me, and why the hell would any kind of professional or, or anybody working any kind of job say this? I don't even like gaming that much. I don't, you, what? You, excuse me? that computes I'm sorry that just it doesn't wash you you can't go that's, that's like me going and getting a, a, I can't even think that because you wouldn't go for a job really would you you wouldn't go for a job that you had zero interest in would you I wouldn't go and ask to go be a, a bin man not that there's anything wrong with being a bin man but that holds no interest for me so why would I go to do that as a job and that just blew my mind. And how can you have a huge corporate chain like Game and have them employing of the thousands of people in this country who are gamers and have probably good, decent retail experience and you, you pick the person who's not interested at all because he had the best management experience. It doesn't, I mean, in the comment section, you might disagree with me, but I thought that was absolutely ridiculous. I mean, especially when 
but game in Telford like a lot of people who follow me probably know that I absolutely love that that chap who works in game in Telford I mean, what more could you want he is the essence of what a manager in a game shop should be he's enthusiastic he puts up hilarious videos he he is I mean, I know it's technically a corporate Twitter account, but he conducts himself in a way that if I was his regional manager, he would be my absolute number one. And I wouldn't be surprised if, if Game in Telford is holding up the rest of all of the shops in, in his region based on how good and how passionate he is about his job. So... I can imagine if I was working in his branch, I too would think that that was the best job ever. And I mean, that again, it just, that time that I walked into game, I remember actually feeling quite deflated. I didn't buy anything that time, even though it was my, my other half's birthday coming up, because I felt lost. There wasn't really anyone else in there that I could ask, and it, I felt embarrassed and put off. And actually, for a couple of years after that, I didn't go back to game. It took a few years for me to decide that I was going to go back in there. And um, that's a real shame, because if I had the time now, I would love to work in a shop like game, because game station isn't there anymore. Um, and this also is now going to bring me on to another type of game shop, which is a little bit closer to what game station used to be, but is like a sort of cheap cowboy franchise rubbish version of it, which takes us to CEX, which for you in America, unless you live in Philadelphia, which was the only CEX that I saw the whole time that I was in America, and I've been to 26 states, and I've been in a lot of game stops, but I only saw the one CEX in all of America, which was in Philadelphia. You go in there and it's not quite got the same edgy cool vibe it's just dirty and smelly and dingy and the games are odds prices or as you may have seen in uh, in my other half top hat gaming man's videos about cex some of the atrocious stuff we have found in there like with the uh, fake fake uh, game boxes and fake art and stuff like that or charging top-notch ebay prices for for old um for old games rare games and then you we, we basically we ended up buying a um a fire emblem game which we were shocked with because it, it was rare we've been looking for it for years and um we bought it and then got home and when we opened it it was just it was fake they printed it off it had a great big cex logo on the inside and I was like, what the, what the, what the bloody hell is this? <laughs> Again, when I was in Game Station, I never saw anything like that. I never saw anything like that. If something came in and it didn't have its box or it didn't have its cover, then yes, you put it into like a spare plastic one, but then it just had a marker pen written on the side what the game was and it was cheaper to buy because it wasn't complete. It wasn't top whack ebay price so again somewhere like cex on the surface that is somewhere that i would have liked to have worked but actually no it's not and because again i know someone else i know someone else who has actually stopped working there i don't know i used to know this person i, I know of them obviously now it's not someone that i have spoken to myself in a while but they actually regularly told me um, told me that they regularly would have to work a huge amount of overtime but there was no overtime sheets for them to complete so he never got remunerated for all of that now back when I worked at game station I know it doesn't exist anymore but the couple of occasions that I did work overtime the manager used to log it very precisely and I was paid every single pound and pence that I had served in that shop but again, another reason why that was one of the best places that I've ever worked. The camaraderie, the professionalism, and the fact that you don't 
get a proper decent game shop in England like that anymore unless you find you can find a decent little independent but off the top of my head I cannot think of anything else to say about the subject as you can see I could rant about it for hours but I'm gonna cut it off there so thank you very much if you've got to the end of the video really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed already then please subscribe hit the notification bell so that you can see all of my upcoming videos and again thank you if you can think of anything else you want me to talk about give me a comment or send me a tweet thank you very much and I'll see you next time <laughs>